Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a paper bougainvillea and using them to decorate a graduation cap. You'll be able to make these with the template for any of the cutting machines and hand cutting for those that don't have a machine. All the materials and template is linked below the video. You only need three of these leaf shapes for one single flower, but since bougainvillea typically comes in a bunch, I suggest making at least three to five in each bundle. I make eight sets of three fit on one letter size paper. Find a fuchsia color cardstock paper and have as many as you can cut on one sheet. I also vary them in size, making a few a little bigger just to make them more organic looking. Then you'll have to cut the center pieces on white paper. You'll only need a few that have these mini flowers in the center, so I only cut a few sets. These come with two shapes, one star and one flower for each center. I say only half of the bunch should have one or two white flowers in the center. Because these are so tiny, it might not have the perfect cut, but I was able to save almost all of the shapes. Then poke a hole in the center of both the star and flower shapes. Then using thin floral wire, I believe I'm using the 24 gauge, cut three pieces about three to four inches. Then loop the tip only the ones you are deciding to add the flower to. I'll be adding only one white center flower on this one. The loop has to be as small as you can get it to be, and I also press it in a little more just to make it more discreet. Then I string in the star shape first and then the flower. Then add floral tape below about the height of the fuchsia petals. Next, I'll be using a fuchsia color tissue paper I found. If you don't have this color, I'll be showing you how to do it with white tissue paper next. Cut a thin strip of tissue paper and this will cover on top of the floral tape. I felt the floral tape made the wire a little more textured and helped grip the tissue paper. I add a little white glue at the end so it won't unravel later. The floral tape should have stickiness enough to catch most of the tissue paper. If you don't have the right color, you could try to color match it with a marker and color a white tissue paper. You want to only stroke it a few times so it won't get the tissue paper too soaked with ink, which could cause holes or tears. Once it is dry, you can then add that onto the floral tape. Then you can make any color center with these. For the center that doesn't have the flowers, I just floral tape an inch or two below the tip of the middle of the wire and floral tape it upwards, then back down. I am just covering the wire on one side about the same length of the ones with the flowers about the height of the fuchsia petals. I just wanted to show you how the ones with the markers look. It looks very similar to my color, so in case you don't have already fuchsia color tissue paper, you could always make your own color with white tissue paper. Go ahead and make two of these straight stem centers with no flowers. If you have any parts that are unraveling, you could just add very little amount of white glue and it should hold everything in place. Once you have the three center pieces done, grab the three fuchsia petals that look like leaves with the stem, fold it in the middle, then I will fan fold in a diagonal angle with three folds. And when you open this up, you should see the folds go in a letter V shape down the spine on the middle fold. Then curl the top edges back. I want to show you one more time using the lines here I quickly drew so you could visually see how I fan fold. Fold down the middle, then fan fold, but it is not a perpendicular fan fold to the center crease. It is at a slant. When you open it up, you should see the V lines going across the center. Then curl the side top edges and do this to all the three petals. Okay. 
Next, I curled the stem end of the petal so my center wire could fit right on top. Add white glue on the stems and add the wire to the three petals with the three center wires. It doesn't matter which order. Then once the glue is dry, add a floral tape to one of them, any of them. Floral tape it once or twice around itself and add the second petal and third petal. It is tricky to make sure they are facing the right direction, but when you open it up after all three petals are floral taped, make it so that the petals form like a triangle facing each other with the wire centers in the middle. Floral tape two inches or so below all the petals. You don't have to floral tape all the way to the bottom. Next, shape whatever is needed. Then you'll need to make a few more to make a bundle of these. Since I had eight sets of these cut on my fuchsia paper letter size, I'll try to make all eight. Remember some of the wire centers don't need the white flowers. I made majority of mine without the white flowers. For those that don't have a cutting machine, the white center is quite hard to cut, hand cut. So if you can't cut the white part, you could just make all of them without the white flowers in the middle. I like them as a stem to put in a vase, but I'll be making a little garland to decorate a graduation cap at the end. These will also be a cute way to make a flower crown or a garland for a centerpiece. You could also make them in different colors. I've seen them in a more orange color and even a white. Once you are done making a few, next will be the leaves. The template for the leaves are also included. It's a very typical leaf shape and you'll need to pair them with the two together, fold down the middle and add glue down the middle about halfway into the leaf and add floor wire. Then glue around the leaf and quickly sandwich the other pair on top while shaping the leaves all before the glue is fully dry. Then floral tape an inch or so below the leaf after having a few flowers and leaves ready, start weaving in each flower. And this is optional, but I wanted to decorate this for a graduation cap in time for the end of the school year. And I have this template for the writing available for free linked below the video and glue that on, or you can cut it with vinyl. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.